Did you know that you can make cells without any additives or even a cell activator? It's true. I'm going to demonstrate it with a technique called the state pour. The phenomenon I'm going to show you here today is called the hydrophobic effect. It describes the relationship between materials that have a glossy, shiny sort of finish or sheen and materials that have a more matte or flat sheen. What happens between these two materials is very similar to how oil and water um, refuse to mix uh, if you put them in the same container. Um, it's somewhat similar, but it, we're describing a relationship between two water-based materials. So I've used a 3 to 1 flow to paint recipe for this blue and this violet, making them a thin consistency, whereas the white is a two parts flow to to one part paint and a small splash of water, making it a medium consistency. But the key difference here is the blue and the violet are both glossy paints, whereas the white is a more satin finish, so it's closer to the matte side than the glossy side. And as these colors come out of the cup and we spread them out by spinning or tilting, they, you'll notice that they interact a certain way. You'll find that the, the more flat color will end up peeking through the glossy colors just because of the way their finishes interact with each other. And this will give you cells, albeit like they won't be as numerous as when you use silicone or they might not cover the entire canvas, but you will still get cells using this method, right? So if you want to learn more about the science behind fluid art and how all of this works, I encourage you to check out my online course, Acrylic Pouring for Beginners. It's half off right now, and it'll teach you everything you need to know from the materials to the science to how to pull off the techniques and even the color theory to help you make the colors pop in your paintings. So I'll leave the link in the comments. Check that out.